is an Aziz sale appropriate for you? Hi, I'm Amol Heda with Keller Williams Bay Estates and author of Thriving Pro Ownership. I'm going to introduce one other aspect of my training and certification. I am a senior real estate specialist and help seniors position their home ownership journey. So I was reading an article through the seniors real estate specialist magazine. And when I was reading that article, I found this amazing, very impressive article saying is an appro as is sale appropriate for you. Now, like I always explain, there is always positives and negatives about everything that we decide when we are working in real estate. And so let's first discuss the positives of doing an as is sale. So when you decide to sell a home as is like in its current condition, no repairs to be done, nothing. It means that you are doing, uh, listing it at the lowest price possible without investing any time, effort, money, stress in it. And so it just gets on the market very quickly and you will be able to finish the sale very quickly too, hopefully. Number two, just because you're not doing all the work, you don't spend the time and you get through a stressless journey. So that's the second benefit. Also, when you're listing a property as is, you don't bloat the price. So you try to make it competitive in pricing. And because it's very competitive in pricing, a lot of investors, flippers, and first time starting first time home buyers will come in. In fact, I keep telling my clients that there are no fixers here in the Bay Area. There are only the fixer is an adjective and people just jump at it. There was a story about two and a half or three years back. There was a burnt down house listed as a fixer in Campbell somewhere for 800K and that home sold for 1.6. So as much as you think a fixer is a fixer, beware of the amount of activity that a fixer gets. The best part of an as is sale is that you do not have to disclose everything and anything. So just imagine that you're helping your family or uh, some uh, trust sale where you did not live in the property and you're just helping them out because you don't know anything about the property. So an as is sale does not have to disclose everything that is there because you never lived in the property you are helping some near and dear one sell and there is nothing to disclose it's the same situation with bank owned properties even they do an as is sale and they have minimal disclosures that come with the property now let's talk about the drawbacks the first drawback is that because it's an as is sale and you did not fix the property, it does not attract a lot of crowd and so might result into lower price. Not always true, just like I told on the other side that when it is a fixer, you get more eyeballs. But when it is a fixer, it depends on whether that property is even livable and the buyer pool then shrinks. That young couple that wants to see a best property a dream home they will not even come and look at this property so there may be that as a disadvantage and lastly with an as is sale the time may be quick but you are exposed to what the buyers find during their inspections and suppose the buyers find things that are way beyond what you what they would expect you are going to end up getting into a long drawn inspection or high negotiation and the buyers will ask you for more that kind of a transaction so you just need to be aware of that but between all this you need to talk to your expert senior real estate advisor or an agent who is very well versed in doing these kinds of transactions do you think you have anyone that needs this help and if you have any other points of view, please comment below, like, share and distribute. 
with whoever might need it. Happy to help. Thanks for watching. Bye.